Hi guys and gals, Chartreuse here. Today we're taking a look at my Toshiba T1100 Plus laptop. I just recently picked this up and I figured it's supposed to be pretty compatible and it's got an 80A6 instead of an 80A8, so it's going to be a little off, but we're going to try and run the 8088MPH demo on here. I've tested this before, it does seem to mostly work, so I apologize for the camera, I need two hands to swap to the CRT. And there we go, we're now on this. Unfortunately, it's only monochrome output, and I can sort of trick it to get color, but it only works on some of the scenes, and doesn't look quite right. So let's give it a start. Make sure it lo hopefully loads. I've got the computer set at 4.77 megahertz, as opposed to the faster speed. And it's not going to read first try, apparently. Need to clean the heads on the drive. As you might be able to see there, it's a little hard, but it says I'm 25% off. That's because that's of the 16-bit data bus, lying faster memory. But we're going to say yes anyway. And whew, that's going to be a little tough to get. Let's turn down the gain. So if I set it to new style, I sort of get good gradients here. I've got the brightness messed up for the camera. Let's see what will look good for you guys. Probably the best. If I if, if I do this, I can sort of get color out of it. It's got like a it's hard to see. It's really overexposed. I can't quite get that to look right. But the bottom has like a blue shade, and the top is a green. But it only works if there is actually a board around it, which only shows in some parts of the demo. And if I guess I bump something, yeah, I can get a bunch of different colors here. But I'm going to go for pure black and white because it actually looks a little better. Uh, let's try to get this aligned nicely. And set it for new CGA since it seems to get closer on the colors. And let's try this out for you guys.
this one doesn't work too well. It has a issue where it keeps cycling the CPU speed on the Shiva, so I'm guessing some of the tricks using the same interrupter sign. I'm not sure. I'll show you why it happens. Yeah, so if you look on the Shiva, you can see the CPU lights changing. I'm currently on low battery, so I decided to run on battery for this, but we'll see if it would last. And the music's a bit out of sync now, it's a bit, a bit ahead of where we are. And I gotta fix the CPU speed here. Sorry about that. The CPU speed at the end of that gets set back up to 7.1 megahertz, so I have to reset it because otherwise everything else sounds wrong. Just be able to hear this music's playing way too fast. And that was 88 MPH demo on my Toshiba T1100 Plus. Surprisingly compatible. The only thing that really doesn't work is racing the beam, but I suspect that's due to the tight tolerances and how whatever's changing the CPU speed back and forth repeatedly. I guess it's whatever interrupt they're using. Not sure what that is. But for an 8086, it's pretty good. The only thing that really messes up from the difference between those two processors is the final mod player due to the, probably the faster, uh, messing up all the timings for the speed with the faster bus accesses for RAM. Anyway, it's been Chartreuse. Have a nice day.